to the YouTube channel John Lavesa, featuring John Lavesa, where I will be opening uh, collegiate licensed football trading cards and sharing my passion and love of those with the public, and hopefully the uh, public enjoys it. Uh, here is the good cards that I already got from a blaster in a uh, retail uh, pack of 2015 Upper Deck. Here's Jameis Winston, Football Heroes, number four. Marcus Mariota, Football Heroes, number eight. Julian Wilson from Oklahoma, number 133. Mike Hall, 112 from Penn State. Leonard Williams, number 49 from USC. Those are just duplicates that I pulled as I'm trying to complete the base set. Those are trade baits open for anybody. And anything else that I talk about from now on will be two. 177, Taylor Kelly, short print, quarterback, Arizona State. That is up for trade bait. A uh, Trey McBride, short, super short print. High number short print, 209 from William & Mary, wide receiver. That's trade bait. Thurman Thomas, a cut above, number 18. Running back from Oklahoma State. That is also up for trade. Um, and now we're going to move into opening the products that I bought unopened. University of Texas. I already pulled the 1970 National Championship pennant from the box. That's trade bait. Anybody uh, interested, hit me up. Um, I was able to pick up a box of these on eBay, fairly cheap. So I just decided, why not? It's collegiate license, college photos. So here we go. Doug Dawson, BJ Johnson, Major Applewhite. Boy, do I remember him. He was fun to watch. Apparently a good coach as well. Uh, B.J. Johnson, all-time alumni, insert. Daryl Worrell. Peter Gardier. Never, I never heard of him. He looks recent. I never heard of him. Dan Neal, former Denver Bronco. Ted Coy. So these are nice-looking cards. I do like them. Moving on to the second pack. Um, excited to possibly pull maybe a... Ooh, that was nice. Pack's gonna have a little bit of ding corners. A Kiki Diela. A Monumental Moments, Ricky Williams, 1998. Boy, he was awesome in college. National Champions, Steve Worcester, Cotton Spare. All time alumni, Johnny Treadwell. Bobby Woonish. Kerry Cash. Also had a brother, Keith Cash, played alongside of him. Marty Akins, looks like a quarterback. Monumental Moments, Bevo. Can't have a Texas set without Bevo, of course. Third pack. Not really expecting to pull much from here. Um, I don't think the all odds are in my favor. Brad Shearer, Bill Aker. Here is the aforementioned Keith Cash. All-time alumni, Jim Bernstein and Steve Worcester. Cotton Sprayer again. Bill Aestis. Aestis, hard name to say. Mac Brown holding the national championship trophy. Daryl Royal, so coach, back-to-back -back coaches. Fourth pack. Still no Vince Young, still no true Ricky Williams cards either. Johnny Ham Jones, Monumental Moments, 1969. Eddie Phillips, quarterback. James Street. Tom Campbell. Cheeky Brown. Chucky Brown, Deidron Talbert, Monumental Moments in 2009, Colt McCoy, cool photo there, holding up the horns, fifth pack, Jerry Gray, longtime NFL player, great, James Kirkendall, what a name, Roger Ro Rosler, all-time alumni, Jamal Charles, Vince Young, here we go, finally got some Vince Young action. Kwame Cavill, all-time alumni, also successful CFL player. Vince Young, Colt McCoy, all-time alumni card. Very cool to see them on the same card. Doug Shankle and Scott Henderson. These are very neat cards. If they're not worth anything, if no one's interested, I wouldn't mind keeping them and putting them in a binder and looking at them. Not a Texas fan, but uh, they are a good program. Ernie Coy. Monumental Moment 2006, Mac Brown. Bob McKay. Roosevelt Leaks, All-Americans. All-time alumni, Apple White and McCoy, same card. Very cool. James Street, quarterback for Texas. Vince Young for the national championship game. Very cool picture. And Roderick Wright. All right, another pack. I still have uh, four of these, so I might have counted wrong earlier. Randy McUrchin. 
Wayne McGarity, Blake Brockenmeyer, Alan Lowry, Eddie Phillips, all-time alumni, a Mike Cotton numbered, I just noticed, numbered 202 out of 210. That's pretty cool. I didn't know they had numbered. Brett Stratford, Tony D. Great. <laughs> what a name, D. Great. That's awesome. Who are you? I'm D. Great. Johnny Johnson, another name. Good Lord. Monumental Moments, 1964. Daryl Royal, another Daryl Royal. That's about the fourth one I've had. Ernie Coy, Scott Henderson, James Brown. <laughs> I remember him, quarterback. He was awesome. Johnny Treadwell, and Monumental Moments, Vince Young among the confetti. Uh, I think we're going to have to make a two part video and have this be a. Uh, Part one, just the Texas cards, and then we'll do part two where I, got, I open the 2014 and 2015 upper deck I have. Bryant Westbrook, Aaron Williams, back to back defensive backs there. Cotton Sprayer again. Russell Exelbrin, All Americans, looks like a punter or something. Here we go, all time alumni, triple card, Earl Campbell, AJ Jam Jones, and Roosevelt Leakes. That's pretty neat. A little trifecta there. Jerry Gray, All Americans. AJ Jam Jones again. And Roosevelt Leaks again. Not too many duplicates and a good assortment of players. Good pictures. Uh, good, uh, got a sale on the card. Um, you know, relatively happy with this product. Russell Axelbrand again. Looks like he won the game there in that photo. Very cool picture. Monumental Moments 2005. Vince Young. Looks like the Cotton Bowl. Ricky Williams, all time alumni. Which are nice looking cards. Colt McCoy, NCAA All Americans, which are kind of nice looking. Vince Young, all-time alumni. Chris Carter, not the Chris Carter of the Vikings, but Chris Carter, safety of the Texas Longhorns. James Saxton, who is a running back. And monumental moments to round out the blaster box of Texas. December 7, 1996, James Brown wins against Nebraska in the inaugural Big 12 championship game. So, out of that, nothing autographed, nothing jersey, but we did get a serial numbered Mike Cotton. Quarterback, uh, number five. It's number 202 to 210. So that would be the hit of the box, I guess. But lots of good cards, not many duplicates, very cool pictures, good quality. Um, I'm happy with that purchase. I paid uh, a good uh, a good bit less than $10 for it. So low risk, a lot of fun. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed my first video. It was a learning experience. Uh, please subscribe and uh, give me any comments or suggestions below. Um, I, I do try to aim to bring you guys something informative and uh, entertaining. And if there's anything I can do to help out with that, just let me know. All right, guys. See you next time. Bye.